in Star Wars The Old Republic, there's numerous ways to get blaster cannons for your trooper commando or for your companions. In this video, I'm going to be showing off 10 different blaster cannons that you can craft for yourself using the Arms Tech Crafting Crew skill. All of these blaster cannons are very easy to craft. They don't require any type of special schematic. You'll gain the ability to craft them as you level up your Arms Tech Crew skill, straight from the trainer. Unfortunately, weapons are not part of the outfit designer, and these specific weapons are not modifiable, which means you're stuck with the statistics that they have. You won't be able to really upgrade these, and they're only currently useful for looks, or for roleplay, or for your companions. The developers of the game have stated that they'd like to one day make weapons more cosmetic, so you can use them for their looks and not for their stats. But in the meantime, just keep in mind, these weapons are most useful currently for while you're leveling, but you're welcome to equip them if you don't mind the hit to your stats. The first blaster cannon that you can craft for yourself is the Carboplast Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 10. And this is a really great beginner's blaster cannon. There's nothing too fancy about it, but it definitely looks like it'll get the job done. Now, if you want to craft any of these for yourself and you don't have the arms tech skill yet, you'll want to head to the fleet to the strongholds and crew skills section. There you'll be able to find the arms tech trainer and you'll be able to pick up the arms tech crew skill and start crafting. The second blaster cannon that you can craft for yourself is the Plastifiber Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 16. And this one's definitely an upgrade from the Carboplast one. Plastifiber Assault Cannon is a very basic cannon. It's got the big guns in the front and the big power source in the back. Perfect for a trooper who isn't very fancy. If you're a free to play player, you're only allowed one crew skill, so you'll only be able to pick up arms tech and you'll have to get the materials for it from the GTN or from other players. If you're preferred, you'll be able to pick up two different skills, arms tech and the other one I suggest is scavenging, so you can pick up half the materials from crew skill missions as well as from off the ground, from robots you kill. If you're a subscriber, you get all three skills, so you'll pick up arms tech, scavenging and investigation and you'll be able to get all the materials you need to craft all of these guns. The third gun you can craft for yourself is the Flexiglass Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 24. And this one's got a very boxy, dark bronze and dark brass color to it. If you don't want to craft these for yourself, you'll either want to check the GTN where they might be available, or you can have someone else craft them for you. To find someone who's an arms tech, the easiest way is to head to the fleet and ask, is there any arms tech who are available who could craft something for me? They'll probably ask you for a certain amount of credits to do it, or for the actual materials to make it. The fourth blaster cannon that you can craft for yourself is the Frick Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 32. And this is when we start getting some really neat variations for the assault cannon that you can craft. It's got a very large alien tech looking centerpiece and a dark metal finish. If you like the look of the very heavy blaster cannon, when you're choosing a character, don't forget, you're gonna wanna choose a trooper and specifically the advanced class of Commando, they're the only advanced class that can wield this type of weapon. The fifth blaster cannon that you can craft for yourself is the Plexoid Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 40, and this has got a cool dark green look. This is great for the commando who's going to be out in the field or out in the bush and needs a bit of camouflage. It's also got a neat kind of double cannon in the front. If you're curious about what any of these sound like when they're being fired, Take a look in the description of this video, I set up a playlist that shows the sound clips for each of these weapons being fired. Many players find that the sound of the weapon while firing is often just as, if not more important than the way the weapon looks. Because when you're in battle, you often can't even see your gun to start with, and you'll always hear the sound if you have the sound on. The sixth weapon that you can craft for yourself is the DeLorean Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 46, and this is a very dark brown kind of brass bronze colored weapon. It's got some really cool green accents. I think this weapon would be especially great for a commando healer just because the nice green accents will go great with all your healing moves. It also has a really cool steampunk kind of vibe going on. Just like only 1 in 16 of the advanced classes can wield the assault cannon, only a small amount of companions can wield it as well. Sergeant Rusk the Chagrin companion from the Jedi Knight story is one of the few main companions that can wield the assault cannon. Eric Jorgen and a few other trooper companions used to be able to wield them, but it got switched up along the way. The seventh weapon that you can wield is the Transpare Steel Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 51. This is a very neat dark green 
a very detailed weapon. It's got tiny red lights on it, as well as lots of interesting bits and pieces, including the tube along the side. One of the other companions that can wield an assault cannon is gained after Knights of the Fallen Empire Chapter 9 and is an optional companion that all characters can earn, named Kakral, a whippet that you can convince to join your alliance. The eighth weapon that you can craft for yourself is the Havid Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 55, and this cannon is great. This was released as part of the Shadow of Revan expansion pack, and it's in a series of weapons that were based on a planet of Rishi, a pirate heaven, and that influence definitely shows up on this assault cannon. Many of the other weapons in this series look like they'd be weapons wielded by pirates, but this one actually looks like a true cannon, one that'd be mounted to a ship. And in true Star Wars designing fashion, the artist for this gun asked, what would make a Star Wars cannon better? And the answer was, two extra mini cannons! So not only does this look like an old-fashioned cannon gun, it's got some extra bang bang for your buck. This weapon would be great for any type of commando that just wants something a little more old-fashioned looking. The ninth weapon that you can craft for yourself is the Glass Steel Onslaw Assault Cannon. For level 61, this assault cannon has kind of a goldish tone to it and it's got some really nice lighting as well around the top. Kind of aqua blue color. I mentioned in some of the other videos about craftable weapons that weapons for companions are only cosmetic. They don't increase their damage, but I'm not entirely sure this is correct anymore. When Star Wars The Old Republic's 4.0 expansion came out, the developers decided that they wanted companion equipment to only be cosmetic so you didn't have to worry about gearing up your companion, but you could equip things to them just for the fun and to change the way they look. We can only assume that they meant the same thing with the companion's weapon as well, but just like weapons aren't part of the outfit designer right now, they must have kind of broke something else along the way. Some weapons will affect some companion stats. Some companion stats aren't affected by weapons at all, and some companions only get affected by certain types of weapons or certain mods within the weapon. For example, the barrel or hilt might affect their stats, but the rest of the weapons mods won't. There doesn't seem to be a huge pattern to it. You'll just have to play with your own companion and see what works. The final weapon that you can craft for yourself without any types of special schematics is the Cedrelium Onslaught Assault Cannon for level 66. And this is a nice looking assault cannon. It's got a matte black paint finish and bright shiny red accents. Really great for a trooper who wants to look like they're gonna rain down some death. Or for a healer who's got the best in tech and wants a custom paint finish. Out of all the craftable assault cannons, this is definitely the one I like the best and I'd love to make a whole outfit designed around it. And there you go. There's 10 different blaster cannons that you can craft for yourself with the Arms Tech Crew skill. I hope you found a custom look that you like. Even though you can't equip them for their stats, it might be really nice to have one just for roleplay or to take some screenshots with. In the meantime, let's just cross our fingers and hope that weapons get added to the outfit designer soon. If you like this video, you can also check out the other videos I've made about crafted things in Star Wars The Old Republic that you can make for yourself, including trooper armor, color crystals you can craft to change your blaster fire color, and of course all other types of guns. Trained in superior tactics and weaponry, commandos charge onto the battlefield with massive assault cannons, overwhelming their enemies with style. See you guys on the next episode!